When we were tasked with developing a game by Giant Margarita, we thought, where do we start? What do we need to consider? And so the first thing that we did was look at other examples of similar genre games on the market, whether it be Worms, Sold Out, Towerfall, etc. So we thought, what parts of these games are the most fun? And so what we set about doing was taking the most enjoyable aspects of these games while adding more features, more customization, more colorful experiences, more fun. And that's how ultimately we ended up with downtime. Giant Margarita is trying to make games that are as customizable as possible, that give the players as many options as they can to play whatever game they want to play. So we tasked some third year students with trying to develop a game with this sort of vision to match uh, Giant Margarita's vision. Taking the Worm series was ideal uh, for the project because it's very different to uh, the style of game we wanted them to create. So throughout the 26 weeks we wanted them to try and uh, evolve the Worm's playstyle to match what Giant Margarita makes. The way the style of this game is designed is that features can be added at any time and features should be able to be uh, thrown into the game in a really non-structured kind of way. One of the major features in our game is destructible terrain. This feature allows players to destroy the terrain with their weapons. This was a significant technical challenge that we had to overcome as it had to be able to run on Ouya, which is a very low-end console. Fortunately, we were able to use two free open source libraries to do much of the heavy lifting that was required to implement this feature. One of the features that we implemented was a shield that could be used to deflect projectiles. We intentionally made the deflecting difficult so that it required an element of skill. This makes it more rewarding for the player to pull off and harder for other players to predict. We focused on weapon interactions to add a layer of depth to the game. For example, Lasers can be used to shoot rockets out of the air, or players can pick up throwing grenades and throw them back at their opponent. Downtime is a very fast-paced and action-packed game, and the artistic style is supposed to reflect this. With the characters, a challenge was making them all visually identifiable at the distance that they are usually viewed on screen. To do this, we looked at making them both visually unique from a silhouette perspective, which is something that has been done before. The second thing that we did was make each character have a unique colour palette, as this helped to further distinguish them in what was fast-paced action from a distance. When it came to the weapons and weapon effects, we wanted to reinforce the sense that this game was taking place in a scale that was over the top in terms of what one would traditionally expect. When it came to the map, we initially were just looking to create maps that would have fun gameplay potential with the destructible terrain feature. However, as time went on, we looked at creating maps which reflected a specific character and in keeping with this theme, develop the maps around them. What we provided with Downtime is something familiar, but also distinctly different and innovative. We think that people are going to be finding this very enjoyable, really exciting, and they're not going to want to put it down.